I open the door and lo and behold, our bro Yasir is on the couch. Out of his mind. Next thing you know, Varun tells me. Yo, his ring's gone. What? Let me explain how I got here. This is the story of the time a gold digger took advantage of my brother. I'm in Vegas with my bros, Varun and the groom himself, Yasir. Varun pulls out a flask and three shot glasses. All right, all right, all right. What is that? Varun smirks. You said we were just coming up here to appreciate the view. I know, but trust me fam, this is gonna make the strip club A1. We are not going to the strip club. Put that away. Fam, you are about to get married. This might be your last chance to get lit. See, Yasir is a bit of a straight arrow kind of guy. Doesn't drink much, never touch drugs. So, naturally, Varun is determined to corrupt him. Absolutely not. Steven? I'm on my phone. Yo, Steven. Huh? Come on, fam. Look around. You really on your phone right now? I was texting. Who are you lying to? We all know you're texting your mom. F off. Jeez. I can't believe this. I'm in Vegas with two nerds. Varun walks off. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually agree with Varun. Seriously? Yeah, bro. It's your bachelor party. Why not? This exact moment was where I really f***ed up, but we'll get to that. Anyways, Yasir reluctantly agrees to take a shot. A toast. At the end of the day, blood don't define us. We choose our families. So yeah, I say it all the time, Steven is my guy. And if this man right here is fam to him, then he's fam to me too. Cheers to you, my bro. Yes, here. I'm at a loss for words. I didn't think Varun had it in him to be anything other than a degenerate. But I guess people are full of surprises. We take our shots. <laughs> Got him. What? Tastes a little funny. What did you do? Oh, nothing. You know, just mix it up. And that was the last thing I remember. Before I get to what happens next, let me catch you up. Basically, Yasir proposed to my sister, Tabitha. Out of all her boyfriends, he was definitely the best. Guy just had a good head on his shoulders. Steady job, you know, the whole ordeal. In fact, the man was so proper that he didn't want to have a bachelor party at all. But Tabitha insisted. So she gave me the job of organizing something fun for him. Her exact words. Well, I don't know. Just get him to loosen up. I mean, I didn't know the guy too well. So I figured Vegas was a safe bet. We'd book a hotel, hit up the casino, then call it a night. Obviously, I didn't want it to just be me and him. So I'm like, hmm, who would be down for a last minute Vegas trip? What happened? I open my eyes. A throbbing pain pulses through my head. I look around. We're sitting in an alleyway right by a dumpster. What happened? Yeah, that shit was crazy strong. I'm livid. I charge towards Varun. <laughs> he dodges. What the hell, fam? You f drugged us. You told me to help him loosen up. Honestly, I'm really starting to question why I'm friends with this guy at all. But in that moment, we had more pressing matters at hand. Wait, where's Yasir? Good question. <sighs> I can't believe this. All right. Pull out your phone. Why? Uh, so we can find the groom? 
I pull out my phone. No missed calls. No texts that are relevant to Yasir. Not only that, but it's been six hours since the rooftop. Oh man, Tabitha is going to kill me. He's at the strip club. What? How do you know? Because I set a reminder on my phone. Let me get this straight. Earlier in the day, you set up a reminder to go to the strip club after you drugged us. Yeah, that's what I said. Do you want to go find him or not? <sighs> I want to strangle Varun. But I'm also somewhat impressed. This was some next level super villain dedication. As much as I hate to admit it, at this point, this seems like our best chance we've got at finding Yasir. So I call an Uber and we head to the strip club. We pull up to the front and someone knocks on the window. It's the bouncer. Yes, List? Uh, funny story. We actually lost our friend and think that he's inside. You're not on the guest list. I can't let you in. I consider sneaking in, but I mean, this guy looks like he could crush my skull with his hands, so probably don't want to cross him. We're with the Asir. The bouncer checks his list. I shoot Varun a look. He shrugs. Of course, sir. Head right on in. You're in room six. I don't know what just happened, but we play cool and head inside. I should mention that at the time, I'd never been to a strip club before, so I had no idea what to expect. Girls spiraling in the air, flashing lights switching colors to the rhythm of a heavy rap beat. Men gathered around the main stage area, a girl dances on the pole. The men toss cash at her. Then it hits me. They probably won't let us stay very long once they figure out we aren't planning on spending much cash. I look at Varun. Like a moth to a flame, he's already hypnotized. Bro, snap out of it. We need to find Yasir. Someone grazes my shoulder. Hey boys. I turn to see a girl standing in front of us. What's up? Where'd you go? I missed you. I'm sorry, do we know you? <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Come on. I'm Jade, remember? She signals for us to follow her. We walk with her towards the back of the club. We go through a curtain. Right under a giant lit up sign that reads VIP. We enter a hallway with several private rooms. She leads us to room number six. Here you are. I'll be right back. I have no idea what kind of situation we've gotten ourselves into, but I know it can't be good. We've got to get out of here as soon as- Fam, I think she's into me. I can't with this guy. No, not today. I open the door, and lo and behold, our bro Yasir is on the couch, out of his mind. Yasir! I guess, for a guy who doesn't drink often, this might have been too much to handle. I signal Varun to help me lift Yasir, but then- Yo, his ring's gone. What? Fam, you heard me. How is this possible? I know for a fact Yasir would never take his ring off. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We need to find it before... Someone knocks on the door. The door opens and Jade comes through with three girls. Jade's holding a tray with several very expensive looking bottles. You boys ready for round two? Okay, hold up. I'm glad we found Yasir, but I've got a new, much more pressing concern on my mind. Who's paying for all of this? <laughs> Woo! Go get him, girl. Varun and I are pushed back onto the couch by two of the girls. They start dancing on us. Jade sets up the bottles on the table. 
I'm trying to cancel this before we get in any deeper. But then... Oh no. Just as I thought. Yasir's ring is on her hand. Next thing you know, Jade is out the door and we're trapped under these girls. Psst. Varun pretends he didn't hear me. Yo! What? I know where the ring is. Where? It's on Jade's hand. What? How? I don't know, mother but we gotta get it back. <laughs> no, you have to get it back. What? You drugged us. Nah, fam. We both know Yasir don't trust me like that. You were the one who convinced him. You drugged us. Remember when I said I really f***ed up? Yeah. Well, first things first. I gotta get out of this lap dance. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm actually trying to talk to the other girl. Uh, Jade. The girl stops dancing. She turns to me. To my surprise, she doesn't get upset at all and is super professional. She tells me to follow her. I look over at Varun and... Yeah, he's not coming. I follow the girl down the hallway. She opens a door to a different private room. This one's smaller and more intimate. Hey you. Hey. Heard you wanted to see me. Yeah, I need to talk to you. Yeah, I'm sure you do. It's not like that. Ooh, playing hard to get. I like that. No, the ring. Her tone changes. What about it? Look, there's been a misunderstanding. That's my friend's engagement ring. I don't know how you got it, but I'm gonna need it back. Yeah, I can't do that. What do you mean? He gave it to me. No, you don't understand. He's really f***ed up right now. No, you don't understand. That's not my problem. Look around you, do you think it's all for free? Someone knocks. The door opens. It's the bouncer from the front. Everything okay? No, not really. This guy's a rude ass. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. No, she stole my friend's ring. I won't ask again. Bruh, I ain't leaving without that ring. <gasps> Before I even finish my sentence, this guy is holding me up by my neck a couple feet off the ground. I can't breathe. Jade is talking in the background, but I can't make out what she's saying. My vision blurs. I'm losing consciousness. This is it for me. Then... <gasps> I get back up from the couch and gasp for air. Once I regain my balance, my vision comes back. Varun's in the room. He's talking to the bouncer. Bam! You are 100% right. He had it coming. Mans talks way too much trash. No stress. We don't even like him. Just had to bring him along, you know? Varun shoots me a look to shut up and play along. But yeah, we good? Well you say me and you have a drink and put this all behind us. We're good. You guys still gotta go though. Varun takes out his flask. Bam! No stress. We'll be out here before you even realize. But again, I just really appreciate you for being so accommodating. This that good shit, you know? He drinks from it, then passes it to the bouncer. Yeah, alright. The bouncer chugs back the flask. Gulp. 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 He empties it, then hands it back to Varun. Not bad. What'd you say that was again? <laughs> the f <laughs> Got him! He reaches for Varun, but loses his balance. <laughs> Tastes a little funny. 
You two are dead. He attempts to come at us, but can't hold himself up. Varun and I shoot each other a look. Then... Varun is a piece of But I mean, I guess he does come through sometimes. With the bouncer knocked out, Jade's suddenly nice to us again. Yeah, yeah, we ain't falling for that again. She gives up the ring. We pick up the Asir and get the hell out of there. We make it a safe distance away from the strip club, only to realize that all our phones are dead. Now what? Hey, uh, Tabitha? It's Steven. Can you order us an Uber? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. He's definitely been loosened up.